today we have uh, Sandy Menti from Philippines. She's an ultra uh, runner. Uh, last year, she is the champion for 50km uh, woman. Uh, hi, Sandy. Hi. So this is your second year uh, running a Sunga Minyala Forest Trail. Yes. Do you feel uh, pressure in terms of defending your championship this year? Yes, uh, I feel the pressure and um, uh, I hope that, um, I don't know, I, I'm not expecting anything, I'm just expecting that. Just relax and enjoy the trail, yes, right? Enjoy the trail. You have been the uh, two years champions for the uh, Kota Kinabalu uh, uh, Climbathon. What is actually your secret behind in terms of like you know being the champion for the high elevation car races? A secret behind? I don't know if I have a secret, but I just uh, try to um, do my assignment like um, training or replicating the the high altitude or the terrain like doing all these stairs because there's a lot of stairs also like climbing uh, doing the hill repetitions and um, uh, training on a high altitude mountains okay like that that's uh that's quite uh easier for me because i live in a in a, in a high altitude place yeah you're famous you're known with like you know for the high elevation you are fast running uphill is really good for you yeah 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 also uh, last year uh, actually you uh, participated in the uh, UTMB uh, TDS right how you find the, the race the, the race was uh, difficult and uh, as what I've said uh, a while ago it was all in one it was hard it was difficult weather nutrition everything uh, but um, finishing it finishing it was a uh, reward for me yeah yes. because as an asian actually we, we feel a challenge in the sense that like we are not get used to that kind of environments yes. right yes. so this is what we worry we are not worried about so much about the elevation and things yes. like that but this opportunity as a philippine uh, people to run the the, the, the trails actually is amazing yes it is and also we understand that you are the first uh, philippine actually uh, uh, managed to complete the race last year actually you ran number 21 21 yes yeah, out of uh, 1600 runners yes how do you feel about the achievement I feel really great and I, I, I feel very, uh, what do you call this, um, very great, great I'm great, sorry, like, great yeah, grateful, yes, yeah. and uh, that I was given this opportunity to race there and uh, this opportunity is actually uh, already a blessing. Correct, correct. Because like before that, we understand that uh, race Yaya actually uh, do a lot of initiative uh, in yes. order to get some funding for the runners, right? right? So right. they're actually very good in the sense like uh, to, to let the elite and the people who like to uh, run ultra okay, to fulfill yes. their dream. But to all these, mm -hmm. do you have any messages for um, Malaysia uh, runner? You yeah. have a lot of followers in Malaysia that you know follow you. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah I can see that. So um, uh, I hope that uh, Malaysian runners or people would continue to continue to be passionate about trail running let's continue to um, inspire other more Asian people to love trail running and to do trail running to love the nature and running itself thank you for uh, for being so kind to us and uh, for being so friendly and be so hospitable every time we come here in Malaysia. We can feel the love <laughs> and uh, that's it. Thank you very much.